I'm going to show you two other ways to make a repeating pattern. Um, to start, I'm just going to open a new canvas. And I'm going to pick my shape. Um, so I'll come over here. I'm going to pick this fun shape here. All right, so then I'm just going to create that in a separate layer. And then like we did earlier, I'm just going to make a bunch of these in a row, holding down shift while I use the arrow key makes them go faster. I'll just do one more here. Okay, so now like we did before, I'm going to select all of these, just spread them out evenly. Then I'm going to go ahead and merge those all together. Okay, so before we did pretty simple where we just had the rows be the same, but in this case we want the rows to alternate. So to do that easily, I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to delete one of these. So then when I select both of these and align them together, this one just looks, fits in just nicely there. And then I can just go ahead and fill in the rest of my page by duplicating those two, those two rows um, and then just spacing them out evenly. Now, if you want to go ahead and make this into a repeating pattern, you're going to want three rows. So two of the same and then one in the middle. And we're just, we're going to crop this just by looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it down here first. And then I'm just going to zoom in really close. I'm going to use this point here as my as my sight. So then I just come in, pull that over to the middle, come over here, pull that into the middle as well. Um, so I've done that side. But then I also need to do the top and bottom. So I think I'll probably use the top of this swirl here as my site. So if I push C, that will get me crop. And I'm just going to put it right there. And then scroll up here. And put that right there as well. This takes a little practice just being able to get the crop in the right area, but there you go, all ready to use as a pattern.